information up to write this video. I got an ad for the Cats movie, and I will remove a win from YouTube for doing that. Appropriate sound effect choice since the city is right there. Also, let me smack those wins on for set building. The reflectiveness of the silver play button. These papers here are actually storyboards for now hiring at Freddy's by Enchanted Mob. Pixel perfect Overwatch figurines that Zack and Micah actually have. Which now begs the question, which one's the Arisa main and which one's the Diva main? Examination is always a win. Random Encounters is always a win. Dang it, if only the Team Salvato logo showed up, I'd say they're always a win too. Eh, screw it, Team Salvato is always a win. Minecraftified Doki Doki Literature Club menu screen. I'm so glad you're joining the Literature Club! Hey, I never agreed to join. Oh, wow, Sayori, who's your friend? He's our club's newest member! That's not set in stone. This is Monica, Yuri, and Atsuki! Alright, the animation is already really great. The lip singing is good, Sayori bouncing around the place perfectly fits her personality, and the subtle movements are really well done. Welcome to our meeting, are you into reading? No need for being coy. You'll improve your uptake, have a freaking cupcake, and must you bring a boy? <gasps> Oreo, Gwen Pinkerton, Katie Herber, and Adriana Figaro are always wins. This look from Monica. She knows what's gonna happen. Have a freaking cupcake, and must you bring a boy? Zack had to struggle to get that cupcake off his mouth. I wonder. For a great majority of this animation, the skirts were animated by hand. And you can't even tell most of the time. The bow ties have been changed from being a part of the skin to models attached to the characters. This hair animation, especially on Natsuki's pigtails. Maybe hand, maybe simulation, either way. Time to write some poems, don't be scared to show them. The festival stays away. You could help with baking or with banner making. And I'll walk home alone today. The facial expressions are animated really well and in different ways. When the scene is meant to be fun or intense, the expressions are animated almost like a cartoon or a short examination sketch. When the scene is meant to be serious, they're animated in a more subtle way. I don't know if they had that in mind, but I think it's a really good touch. You could help with baking or with banner making and I'll walk home alone today. Another detail, you can easily see the tension between Natsuki and Yuri over Zack, even though they're not arguing. Also, the void outside the window over here is white and bright, but the one past the Ori on the screen is gray and obscured. Maybe we're friends, maybe we're more. How can he love a simple girl next door? Now we're given a deep delve into what Sayori is like in her own little world. She's still bouncy and yearning, but she's also stressed about her relationship with Zack, and if she wants to go further with him. And everyone around her stops moving. Moving? Uh and everyone around her stops moving. Why do I keep saying moving? And everyone around her stops moving, further solidifying this is her head, her world. I'm just not the type he's looking for. She never left her desk. You can see the chalkboard right there. These drawings were actually drawn on a pencil and paper, just on two separate sheets because there was too much smudging. Even though that add to the realism. Moving on! I'm just not the type he's looking for Hey, Sayori doing okay I'm having a difficult day Sayori is such a well-written character and an accurate representation of depression. I just want to make her happy, give her all the happiness to fill her bottles. Hey, Sayori doing okay I'm having a difficult day I'd say you seem pretty lonely My favorite touch in this video Monica acts like a loving friend until she looks down on the paper. Then she goes full, well, Monica. Plus the little detail that Monica looked down at Sayori's drawing is a win. I love how they use red string for a couple of reasons. One, red can often foreshadow bad things happening. In this case, murder told off as suicide. <coughs> Sorry. Number two, it's a nice contract to Monica's green matrix in Why Did I Say Okie Dokie? Wait, red in this video, green in that one. It was prophesized this whole time and we couldn't see it! And hurry down the chimney tonight. <laughs> Number three, it's based off existing Doki Doki Literature Club merch where red strings entangle and surround everybody. Also, this string is hand animated. DreamWorks face. I wish I could make her grin. All she wants are things back the way they've been. Now Nathan Morse gets a chance to show off his singing skills and they do not disappoint. A 
apparently this penguin has been examination gag for a long while now. Basically, if examination manages to put a shelf in their videos, then it's gonna have this penguin on it. She's depressed and stressed and she's feeling blue, so I don't want Sayori hanging around you. I love how these thoughts get closer and closer to Sayori not existing, and then it cuts to Monica hanging her. Oh, Sayori was scared. So I don't want Sayori hanging around you. <laughs> get it? Hanging around you? Ah, ah. Also, brutal. They animated the book and it still has the drawing. Just amazing attention to detail. Just Monica, 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 just, just Monica. The computer screen in this scene was green and they added the shot of Suri being a puppet in post. And it's actually flawless if you don't know what you're looking for. That merch mentioned earlier has a more prominent presence here, now with the strings everywhere and a smoky environment. Zack must have went into this game blind. Lucky duck. Also, Dolly Zoom. Overwatch poster. This scene was apparently changed a lot from its original idea, and while I do wish they kept that original idea, it wouldn't have made any sense. Well, this does. I'm so glad you're joining the Literature Club. Wait, what happened to- Zack would say that. He restarted and hoped Sayori would be back. He held it. Also, this glitching effect is really well done. Wait, what happened to- Oh, there's no one here named that. Manga is my passion, don't you dare be passion. The writing got me passion, don't you dare be passion. I like how they shrug it off like he isn't crazy. Monica's probably messing with their memories now. Artist Cosmic Cosmo Minecraftified Kill La Kill for this short. The question is, is this based off a real volume of Kill La Kill? Maybe you should borrow these until tomorrow. Were you looking up my dress? Yeah, that didn't really make much sense and definitely could have been handled better. Say, a bigger pile of books drags him further to the floor while Natsuki closed the door, making it look like he looked up her dress from her perspective. But... <laughs> Let's go read a story. What about the Monica's poses fit the character perfectly. I have the learning piano and I sing soprano. Just, just look at this attention to detail. I have the learning piano and I sing soprano. The piano track you hear at this part was actually composed by Zach. And I can't get you out of my head. Can't look away, can't have a blush. Where did I get this overwhelming crush? It's sharp as a knife and twice the rush. Would that be a match cut? No, a match fade. The reflectiveness of this knife. Yuri makes a slight Ahago face here as she caresses the blade. What? I've been on the internet before. And with YouTube's new policies, I can try to be a little risque. I've never seen Yuri so vain and chill and still kinda sweaty. Dolly Zoom 2.0 and it's done so much better. Yuri's shirt is pulled when she tugs on it. And I don't mind cutting to the chase. I'm in love. This one is in remembrance of Natsuki, who sadly wasn't rendered in this shot. But, we have the archives, and I can say Natsuki was appropriately animated for this shot. Zack's facial expressions really add to the uncomfortable factor of this scene. That's a sentiment I can't allow, so my dear friend Yuri is getting the point now. Haha, <laughs> get it? Point. Knife. Uh... Also, brutal. Just Monica, just Monica. This scene is incredibly unsettling. Just everything about it. Even Monica's dancing. And I love it. Also, Monica's dancing managed to make it to number one trending on Discord. And that makes it a meme win. Monica's dance was animated differently than Examination is used to. First, they had to block the poses, then add the splines afterwards, as opposed to just animating with the splines from the get go. Did you have guessed? Maybe you knew. Natsuki is next. I'm deleting her too. The desk and chairs could be knocked over and scattered to symbolize the craziness of the situation. Come on, no frame of Natsuki's neck breaking. Shame. Natsuki is next. I'm deleting her too. So I've seen the idea of Monica being the daughter of Thanos come up a lot, but that's just absurd. She's the mother of Thanos. Do you see the gauntlet or the Infinity Stones on her hand? Didn't think so. The lighting shift to accurately represent this scene is amazing. Also, I managed to pause on this frame, and I'm just gonna say there are some hilarious smears in this, so I'm just gonna add 20 wins for all of them. We don't need cupcakes, 
or poems or tea. I only need you to love me. Hey. So Natsuki baked cupcakes. That was Sayori's notebook. And Yuri liked tea. Connections were made. I only need you to love me. Hey. Another amazing lighting shift and a more impressive one since Monica wasn't in this set. There's no one else in our way. So look at me and just say, right here, my dear, that you love me. And this is the point in the video where the skirts are no longer hand animated, but the physics are still accurate. So look at me and just say, right here, my dear, that you love me. Uh, flirting? Why am I obsessed over these glitching effects? I don't know, they're just too cool! I did not expect this to go the way it did, but that was friggin' awesome. The chunks of roof are hand animated. The stone pillar flying up has bits of red, signifying magma or Monica's powers. Either way, PNG's enforced perspective were used here, considering they couldn't actually have a map of this scale or the entire system goes down. Hey there, pal! Looking for work? Zack stumble animation. The chair and desk shake and fall off the edge. Here are those storyboards a bit more clearly now. The desk lamp and silver play button are in this scene. Cause I've earned this and you're finally mine And I'm sorry what you had to see But it no longer matters cause now you belong to me I really love how this climax is done because it's just so unique for a Minecraft animation. Forever, 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 Every piece of this shattered laptop was hand animated. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Sayori? You're still in the literature club? I know. How is he in the game when he destroyed the laptop in the real world? And Examination even admitted themselves that this is a mistake, but here's my headcanon. From this point forward, they're still in the game. Doki Doki Literature Club has access to your computer files, and with Monica being a self-aware AI, she probably managed to gain access to this character's camera, allowing her to see what he looks like and what his room looks like. Then, she decided to roleplay a little bit within a random city environment. The laptop being destroyed ran parallel to Zack in the real world, deleting her character file. It's a headcanon, yes, but I'm thinking Minecraft animation made me think this much, so... Well, look what the cat dragged in. Sayori? You're still in the literature club? Of course! I'm the president, after all. <laughs> well, Sayori, who's your friend? He's our newest member. I'm guessing that's not set in stone. This time... I think it is. This interaction between the four is really wholesome. It's a great heartwarming. Why don't you join us? I was just getting Natsuki here into my favorite horror novel. Hey, it's it's not like I like it or anything. Natsuki showing off those tsundere roots. I, I like it or anything. So, are you walking home with anyone after this? Just my friend Sayori. Cuteness overload achieved. Just say. Some scenes you just ding. These stills of what the club is like after Monica is gone are, for lack of a better word, wholesome. They're really cute and it's interesting to see what adventures they would have went on. This music here was also composed by Zack. Poor Natsuki, she has to deal with enough horror as is. And no, I'm not talking about Monica. I love how they zoom into a character's face, then zoom out of the same character's face to a different scene. It's artistic in a way. It's cool that Little Witch Academia is here, considering Micah did a lip sync test based around that a long while ago. Also, the penguin is still here. Just Monica in this room. Oh. All right. This has got to be the best Minecraft animation I have ever seen. Not Fly Again. Not Revenge. Not anything from the Fallen Kingdom tetralogy. This video was the most entertaining experience I've had while watching any Minecraft animation. First, let's talk about the the animation. 
It was Damnation's typical fast-paced cartoony animation, but slowed down when it needed to. This allowed for some really funny moments, as well as serious and intense moments, allowing the tones of the scenes to match perfectly with the song. Speaking of which, the song is really fun and well sung, and it's even pretty accurate to the game. Sure, it takes some creative liberties, particularly with Sayori's yearning verse, but that's always how random encounters have done their songs. They take creative liberties to tell the story they want to tell, while still doing their best to stay true to the original continuity. This is best displayed in Web of Lies. And I honestly don't care. They made something I enjoy while taking key events from the game into consideration. And the singers were pitch perfect. I can't really find an MVP or shining star because they all fit their characters so well. Oreo, Gwen, Katie, and Adriana. They are these characters the same way Chi Chi is Alice Angel. The lighting in this video is absolutely amazing. It matched the tone, it set the mood, and it was true to the game. Sadly, I don't think it really deserves an awesome lighting bonus round, but it really does deserve a lot of praise. One final thing I need to say is how the video overall is pretty accurate to the game. While there are some creative liberties taken here and there, it's still nice to see the base game represented with Zam's original spin added onto it. Just Monica is an entertaining watch with great animation, amazing lighting, and a fun song that will be stuck in your head for the next couple years. Next up, another random encounters thing, 